And no guys, uh, welcome to Photograph with Sir Demi. All right, so today uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be putting you through exactly how I was able to create this image that you are looking at right now. This image that we're looking at right now, how we're able to take it from this, this, how we're able to take it from this to this. And the beautiful part of it, well, this beautiful background that you're looking at right here, we are giving it out so sweet in this video. We are giving it out so sweet. So I'm going to put you through step-by-step -step guide on how I was able to do the composition and all of that to bring it to this level. So if you are interested in knowing how the picture was retouched originally, if you are interested in knowing how it was retouched from this to this, so I took out time and did that. So if you're interested in knowing how it was done, I have a dedicated video on how I do that. I did that. Just go to the description below. You are going to see a detailed video on how the retouching was able to be watched from this to this. Now, what we are looking at is how we did this composition. So first of all, before I forget, this is the background we're using and it's absolutely for free. It's absolutely for free. Absolutely for free. So we're giving it out in this tutorial. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's quickly get started. So I'm going to drag the backdrop. Going to use my move tool and me of the auto select and just drag it over my image like this. Don't show it again. Yeah, so I'm just going to place it over my image like this and I'm going to scale it in just like that. Yeah, so I want it appearing like this on my screen after the whole thing. So I'm just going to scale it in like this. And I think that was so close. Yeah. Something like that, then I'm definitely going to bring this down a little, bring it in. I want to have a bit of the song over this. I'm going to try to squinch it from here just slightly, just like that. Okay, I think I want it this way. I'm just going to stretch one or two things out. Yeah, nice. I'll press OK. Switch it so I can see exactly where I'm placing my image and all of that because of the anchor point. So she's supposed to be here in the original image. So I'm going to place my anchor point right there as well. Now we start scaling her inwards. Scaling the background inwards rather. Or something like that. So I think I'm going to stretch it from here, just to lose some area. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. So let's see the original positioning, because we're using that one as a reference image, so we can be able to get the same result. So look at what we did here, now it's beautiful. For the show. I think we need to bring it a little bit closer. Like that. So this we'll back a little. Shark her in. Positioning her in the anchor points like that. Nice. Okay, so by uh, this we'll press OK. So we've gotten the floor, but we've lost some parts of the original background I wanted to use. That's nice. So we'll press OK. Press OK. So this is the first step, is to place your background. Now, the next thing we want to get is I want to still maintain a bit of this in our image. If you look at the image, I want to notice that we are losing some very nice areas. Excuse me. This is still not looking so nice to me. So let's make one of such smells. Sorry about that. Okay. And we'll have it here. Somehow here. Okay, so I want to bring in it like this. Nice. All right, so press OK. I think I got out on the floor now. So I want to make sure we'll still have a little bit of all of this. So what we're going to do in that the image, the background we're using, 
is not entirely scaled into this particular uh, background to fit into this particular image. So what we're going to do is that we're going to change the background, now use a lot mask, mm -hmm. we blend some stuff. So how do we do that? Press Ctrl J, press Ctrl J, then move, move one in a way that we are seeing the light, yeah, that light over there. Because we need to scale in a way that it should fit in perfectly. Something like that. Then press OK. Press OK. And use your mask to hide it. Simple. So use your mask to paint that gradient, that gradation separation. So we need it just at scale of non it heavy. We don't need it all this area, so I'm just going to paint it out of this area. So we have two layers of the same background, like that, following each other. Three layers of the same background. So let's see the original one. Yeah, it's shown well. So the chain it when it looks a lot. Okay, I have this here. So I'm going to use the slow of my brush, I'm going to reduce the flow of my brush so that we will not have a very sharp edge transition. Just something that when I was being dab, I think it's still too high, somewhere around six. So we'll have that seamless low in transition over there so it doesn't get too rough here. Nice. So when you are looking at it, you are not seeing the transition. Just think it's the same vibe. Yeah, that was basically what we did. That was how we were able to make this background properly fit in to this image. Of course, we lost some areas because of the scaling and all of that, but that was basically what we did. So I think I need to scale my original background up a little more. Yeah. Firstly, I'm going to say, and I click. So it was okay. So the next thing we did, we are basically done, or basically done. All we need to do now is to start working on the match. The night name matching, the color matching, and all of that. So the next thing we did about the whole image is that we created already. We already had this gradient effect created from the original image. So we need to make sure that it's still there. Yeah, this one right here. This one right here. And press OK. We'll check for the next thing that was done. Physically didn't do much. So the next thing we did was that we added sharpness, which we already added, and we created a photo filter effect. And bring the whole thing together to bring the whole thing together a photo filter effect to bring the whole thing together so there, there's one thing i need you to notice we created a very sharp transition between the original background and the floor which is over here yeah so we needed to blend into each other so it looks like it's the original background or the original flow so what we basically did was i created a mask for it you hide a little brush like that. So they painting just like this to create that transition. Yeah, you see the way it's blending into each other already. Same thing over here, just slightly. So when you look at it, you can see it's the original background. Okay, I don't just like that. Just or not. So another thing that we did basically was that we created a photo filter effect, a brilliant photo filter effect. We used this element for the A stop. So I'm just going to drive it over. Yes, it's over the image. So it gives us a very uh, global color gradient. Yeah, like that. So it gives us a very global color gradient. And one beautiful thing you need to notice is that when I was editing the image, I noticed she had a lot of brackets. Uh, so what I basically did was I just went to my uh, to my photo filter, added a cooling effect, yeah, just clipped it to her so that she will look so much like the like she's in the background, so it doesn't look like she's lost in the whole stuff yet. And I'm going to just reduce it slightly, nice. Then I match the two of them together, so that's why you didn't see it here. Well, we did it basically. So the next thing I want us to do was to make her stand out in the background. And to do that, I'm just going to add a little brightness on her specifically. Just like that. Control I. 
I hate the boxing. The job Ross. Girls came to the heart to add some bad mess to the English. Just the island, specifically on the island. Oh, this is too much for real sleep. So I'll show me this opacity. Nice. Okay, so uh, let's go. We are basically done, so you can, from there you can decide to do other things. And then we decide to create a color report table. Let's see what the color report table is going to do for us. This is already beautiful. You see the fantastic look. Miles, put beautiful, 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 beautiful. I think I love this. Let's talk with us all of that. See, lovely, not so sure. Because I think I know what to do. I'm going to create a course. I just went there. Go to my beams. Just hazel it up a little. We are to give it that hazel look. Because the whole image looks, the whole background looks quite hazel. So we need that hazel look on it. Something like that. I think the contrast is too much, yeah. But from the views, just a hazy, a hazy feel and the whole environment to give it that mist. Look, this is so after just a double bit. I'm going to put to go. So look at the image when we started. I think I'm going to off all of this. Oh, want see that. Okay, so except this. Uh, yeah, so this was the image when we started. So first of all, we started building by adding our main background, then adding our uh, overlap background so it looks quite realistic. Then the next thing we did basically was that we made her bright to separate her from the background. Then we created a gradient effect just to bring in that uh, all kind of lightning coming from this side of the whole frame. Then we add some sharpness to her. Then we created a photo filter effect and use curves to do a global color breeding. And we are good to go. So that was how we were able to bring this picture from this to this, from this to this, from this to this. If you think the background is too much, you can even reduce the opacity if you wish. But I don't think I want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is. You can even get just a very let me match this two layers. Yeah, you can just create a very uh, blurry effect just slightly to give it separation, just like that, just to uh, reduce the sharpness, maybe around somewhere around 10. This paper. First, okay, just to give it that color separation, you can even decide to stack it down a little, just a little. Yeah, because of the separations and all of that, I don't think the back main down is necessary. And we are good to go. Thank you for watching this amazing video. I hope by now you've gotten the password. So just download your file, do your thing. Let's see what you're able to create and you will be good to go. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you.